I guess there was a, a fan who wrote in to Howard Stern and said, you know, I want to meet Carmen Electra. So they're going to make him, I don't know, go through a test or something. And if he makes it through, then he gets to meet me. I think he has to take a bath with another guy and exchange speedos or something crazy like that. So it should be fun. All right. We have a very jam-packed show. Uh, beautiful Carmen Electra is here who is in the Playboy magazine naked. I've studied the pictures. I see no flaws. I don't know if they airbrush or what, but she has no flaws. Okay. I would like to have her pose here for me nude and then side-by-side then side comparison. Yeah, if there was any airbrushing or not. Well, there's Carmen. Whoa, baby. Oh, man. You couldn't look any... Jump in that tub. Honey, you couldn't look any better. It's impossible. <laughs> you got to sit down because... Because I need you to. Because you can't stop. Because I can't stand that. <laughs> Hello, how are you? How are you, beautiful Carmen Electra? I'm good, how are you? Man, that is the sexiest outfit. Let me describe it to my audience <laughs> since they can't see. Obviously wearing no bra. No. And you're excited to see me, that's for sure. You can see that, right? I can see that. Sweater. <laughs> you're wearing one of those, uh, wearing a pink sweater, but it's like one of those half shirts so you can see your belly, which looks mm -hmm. really nice. It's like a baby tee. It's like a baby tee shirt. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, I don't know, like some sort of gloves thing. What? Yeah, but, like a Michael Jackson thing? Like a, I don't know. I don't know. It's just sexy. And, what, and what's with the pants? Like uh, bell bottoms or something? Yeah, they're, they're like very retro. Huggers, really low. Yeah, you look good. Thank you. You look really good. Thank you. Now, I put up a curtain. You know why? Why? All right. Before we, before I even talk to you about anything, mm -hmm. there's a guy who called us and said that he really wanted to meet you. This would be his dream come true. Mm -hmm. So he said he'd be willing to do anything to meet you. <laughs> so I said, would you take an erotic bath with another man? <laughs> and the fact of the matter is, um, I think he's going to do it. The other man being Benji. An erotic bath. Which I, I think is maybe the worst thing in the world. I don't Like, I would love to meet Carmen if I was a guy. Right, if you couldn't meet if her. If I couldn't meet her? Yeah. But I don't think I'd get in a bathtub with another guy <laughs> and do an erotic bath. That's a small bath. bathtub. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. No, no secrets. There's no getting away no. in no. a bathtub. I, I don't I think so. I it was a little strange that there were men running around in Speedos in your hallway. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So, Carmen, uh, would you allow this guy to meet you if he took an erotic bath with Benji? Definitely. All right. Bring in this guy. I want to talk to him. And, Benji, you should get in the bathtub right now. Benji is... Uh, yeah, before the water cools off. <laughs> I don't know. I think the water cooled off a long time ago. <laughs> Look at how small the tub is. They're both going to fit in there? And then you and Benji's I will take an erotic bath. Is what <laughs> That's nice. Do you need to pleasure Very yourself nice. when you look at her? Oh, uh, <laughs> not here. Uh, not really. <laughs> under the towel. It's, just, it's nice to look. It's you want to look? Nice Carmen, do you mind standing up for him? So, I mean, the guy did take a gay bath in order to meet you. <laughs> okay. To, uh, uh, she's he can gonna come on over here for a second. Come on over for a second. He's Don't get a too close. Wet. How's that? <laughs> Whoa. Nice to meet you. Uh, oh, oh, a hug. She's touching him. Oh, boy, good, she, good, good. Oh God, I yeah. can't believe I just did that. Yeah. Well, I actually got off easy, I guess. You like her? Yeah, definitely. She's one of the hottest girls you've ever seen. Yeah. yeah. And have you pleasured yourself to her pictures uh, before? Uh, uh, maybe. Did you see Scary Movie? Yeah. You did. You yeah, like that was... scene where she's running around in a bra yeah, and panties? Yeah, I left right after that. That so. turned you on. Oh, you I just went see. for that scene. You just went for that scene. Yeah. And uh, when you have your calendar of Carmen Electra, do you pleasure yourself to the calendar? Uh. Not really, but I look at it a lot. You look at it a lot. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Well, you can pretend you're her boyfriend now. You hugged her. And <laughs> right now, I'm pretending. It's underwear. Right. So, so you're excited. Yeah, very. All right. Is there anything you want to say to Carmen? Now you're meeting her. You're finally. You're looking more at me than you are at Carmen, to be honest with you. I see. I'm like, I'm, I'm intimidated. You are, so. Look at her. Go ahead. You've earned this. What look at her. Your eyes. Look at her. He can't even look at her. I can't. Look at her. Way, can look in her <laughs> eyes. I'm I commanding can't. you to. Okay. Look go ahead. My eyes. You were looking. You were looking at Benji closer than you were Carmen. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. I don't know what's going to happen in Pittsburgh when I go home. But. Carmen, is this the kind of guy you ignored all through high school? Uh, uh, you never would go out with a guy like uh, Dennis, would you? <laughs> no. All right. The answer no, is no. No, that's not true. Right. I mean, my she never taste did. varies. <laughs> your, your taste varies. Yes, as it we've does. seen. Yes, exactly. And uh, now that you're seeing her in the flesh, you've taken a gay bath with uh, Benji. <laughs> You can't even go home to Pittsburgh. Oh, wow. Do you want to say something to her? That, uh, to, to make your move? Yeah, I mean, to you say wanted something. to meet her so it's badly. It's to meet you, and it's pretty much like a dream and stuff, but it's, I just, I don't know, i just seen her, like, in interviews and stuff, and she just had a really cool personality and stuff just to hang out with. That'd be cool. Not you're looking like, at me again. Ah, uh, talk to right. her. You know why you're never going to, you know why you're never going to get a chick like her? You don't look at her when you talk to her. 
Hey, well, I was talking to her when I told her about it. What are you looking at me for? You're telling me hot stuff about her. I'm and you, you about her. Talk, look at her. Talk no, to just, her. Tell her. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> very, very you have beautiful happy. eyes. You know when a chick tells you have beautiful eyes, you know what that means? What? No. It means you're not she that good looking. Look you can't look at the rest of you. Everything, everything else sucks. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, anyway, Dennis, I'm glad you got to meet Carmen Electra. Yeah. There she is. You, your opportunity to say something, I gave it to you, and you basically didn't say a thing. So what are you doing uh, later? Anything exciting? Working. She's working later. She obviously has a very full schedule. All right, Dennis. Great to meet you. Nice and meet say, you, give a kiss to Benji. Oh, God, no. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Right. Oh. Ooh, a kiss. Wow. Oh, you, you see, maybe you worked your magic. You know, it was a good experience and everything. I really wanted to meet her. So right. I guess I'll it. He does it. have nice eyes. That. That's sweet. So. What? I have not oh, He God. does. He has nice eyes. <laughs> uh, Carmen, uh, good yes, to see you, of nice course. nice to see you, Howard. Carmen, what is going on with you now? Uh, since Scary Movie, have you, uh, I mean, the, the career is taking off in a big way, right? I mean, you're yeah, doing a lot of films. Yeah, has been really good. Yeah, I just finished um, four different films. Um, I have a TV pilot that we just shot. I went on a tour in what Europe for Scary Movie. What do you mean a TV pilot? For who? For Sony. So you could be, uh, like, like, what is it? Like a, a like syndicated or syndicated show? Yeah, a lot of action. They brought in um, the stunt coordinators that did the Matrix. So I got to wear a harness and do a lot of flips and kicks and do cool you stuff. Do we see you in sexy outfits through the whole show? Oh, do you yeah. constantly change? Not like every scene I have on a different outfid, but right. yeah, the outfits are I definitely mean, what would sexy. Your character be? Um, basically, she's it's it's kind of like Dark Angel, like right. a woman that's been um, superpowers programmed with computer chips to be able to fight crime. So she can basically get out of any kind of difficult situation. But see, I would have given you a whole different TV show. Really? What would you, what would you, what would you have me do? Show. I would have had you play a stripper yeah. whose mother. <laughs> listen to this. There's whose mother show. is in business with her. Ah! That's <laughs> impossible to believe. And it would be so Why hot. Would you That's like the porno girl that was just on, right? Bit. Exactly. I'd base it on Leanna Hart's life. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, why Why not a show like that where you're a sexy stripper or that something like fun. that? Why do they always got to turn girls like you into, like, you know, bionic woman or something like that? And then they That would be fun. I would love to do that. Yeah. I love to dance, so. Yeah, that's what I mean. You're a dancer, and then even, like, you know, even on your real life. You, you, you can't dance in your new show? Guys are hitting I on you. I don't know how I could work that in. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it would be like, you know. And then, it would be like you said, like my mother or Carby, my mother and my vagina. So it's something to get provocative. But you'd be a stripper. I would have her play something sexy. Yeah, and then they could put that in Family Hour, right? Yes, they could. I wouldn't. It wouldn't be necessarily seeing her strip. Oh, she would play yeah. a stripper. Yeah. This is my concept. And then what is she doing? Because I'm a guy. I want. She's not stripping. When she's not stripping? No, that's what you're telling me the show would be. It would be about she goes out, she hangs out at clubs, she meets like uh, hot guys. And she, then what? Where and are we she going falls in that? love with guys, guys dump her, guys so are with you're her. you're talking soap opera. She goes out with Dennis Rodman or like a basketball she player. She tried that already. <laughs> Why don't you go out with me? It's the difference. <laughs> For Christ's sakes. Well, you can base it on her life. Then. Yeah. <laughs> don't you think that'd be a sexy show? It'd be fun. You would I do would that. I would love it, yeah. Yes. A sexy show. Why she got to be bionic? Well, that could be That's sexy, gonna be too. sexy, though. It is. I think. Yeah. yeah. They should have you dancing a lot. So. I want to dance. I never I mean, see you, you dance anywhere. I miss it crime. so much. I never see you dancing. I would put you on a dance show. I want to have a dance show. Right. I would love that. Why not a variety show? And what is going on with... We had Dennis Rodman in here, mm -hmm. your ex-husband. Yes. Who you, you know, you've said on the show, you came in the last time and you said, look, I'm done with him. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a great guy, no hard feelings. The cheating was too much for me. That's mm -hmm. what broke up the marriage, right? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, it was the cheating. I yeah. mean, they were married for 10 minutes, and he was hurrying with other women. <laughs> he told me that at one point, he had two broads in bed with him. He didn't he had, tell you that. Yeah, who told me that? The inquirer. <laughs> oh. Well, he had two girls in bed with him. While he had just married you, practically on your honeymoon, and when you walked in on him and you saw him in bed with the two girls, he said that they dropped out of the ceiling and that he was innocent. <laughs> That's right. Now, you can't, they got there. How, did he actually say that to you, that the girls dropped out of the ceiling? <laughs> I don't know how they got here. Yeah. I don't know how they got there. I'm not with, with them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> They're in bed. I'm not with them. I don't know how they got there. It was just there. hard because I was hearing things all the time, no matter where I would go. I would hear things, and I mean, it just but gets Carmen, old. Yeah. Carmen, when he met you, mm -hmm. and he was flying you around, he had other women with him then. Uh, not in front of me. I'm sure he did. But they but were on another she, floor in the hotel. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know. See? She's very trusting. <laughs> I, I mean, That's why I, I like you. <laughs> you were sitting right at the table with him and a supposed girlfriend. 
I didn't even see. I didn't even know that was a girlfriend. I had just met him. Right. Oh and we went out. We all went out. I had my friends with me. We were at a table. He wasn't paying her any attention at all the whole entire night. I had That's no his idea. Move. I had no idea that girl was with him. I had no idea. And you married him thinking, okay, he's a bit of a flirt, but he loves me. Yeah, well, I knew that. You know, he's Dennis Rodman. Come on, you right. know, he's out there. But, you know, I, I thought maybe he was going to change a little bit. I mean, if you're going to go to that extent, I mean, he did interviews saying, "I'll never ever get married again." And then for him to actually ask me, and, and I mean, I thought it was real. I right, really did. Right. But, I still don't I mean, know how you communicated with him, though. That's the part <laughs> I can't figure out, because he does I'm mumble. like his translator. <laughs> I know. Well, you no one else can understand him but me. <laughs> she did. She speaks his language. <laughs> she speaks Dennis Rodman. No, I mean, the guy's got a good Fire physique. People. I could see where you would be attracted to him, but to marry well, it's him. It's exciting, and right. it was a challenge, and we had a lot of fun. And I mean, right before we got married, I lost my mom and my sister. They both passed away. And right. And I think in a lot of ways... I think ways, it drove you over the edge. Definitely. I mean, I think that um, it was fun and it took my mind off of thinking about them. Right. A distract, the ultimate distraction. Definitely. You marry, you marry Dennis, you're thinking about him 24 hours a day. But let me tell you something what happened. He came on the show recently. Mm -hmm. like within now, the last you're still talking, right? Yeah, we still talk on the phone all the he time. He claims he calls you every night. Yeah, he does. He does? Yeah. And do you pick up? Yeah, I talk to him. What yeah. do you talk about with this guy? <laughs> what did he say what on do the you phone? Do? Yeah, I mean, how long Let's does go it, get married talk? again. <laughs> now, how long does the conversation actually last? Not very long. Ten minutes? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So it's not deep or anything? Not really. <laughs> when you were married, did you have any conversation that lasted more than ten minutes? <laughs> we would talk all the time. I, I, yeah, I just... I just know that he's not, I'm, I'm not ever going to be able to change him right. or make him into someone else. He is who he is. Right. I love him for the person he is, hmm. but I can't be in a relationship with somebody like that. I mean, it's no. hard. It's no. crazy. It is crazy. It's crazy. He wants you back. Mm, yeah. yeah. Now, he <laughs> came in here and he said, he said to me, this is off the air. Mm -hmm. He turned to me and I said, you know, how you doing and everything. He said, Howard, he was mumbling at the time. Mm -hmm. He said, Howard, I am done with, with this lifestyle. I've done it all. I said, do you want to marry Carmen again? He goes, I want to marry her. I want to settle down. This is what he said to me. And I told him he couldn't possibly be monogamous. And he said, Robin, I've done this for 15 years. It's time for me to give it up. I'm tired of it. Now, knowing all of that, mm -hmm. would you marry him again? Actions speak louder than words, Howard. Really? Mm -hmm. So that is a no. You're turning down well, the proposal. Well, you know what? I mean, he's kind of said that all along, but I didn't really see that through his actions, so right. I can't really believe his word. You've learned your lesson is what you said. I saying. have, yeah. Wow. And when he calls you, does he say, listen, I, want, I just want to have sex with you Do again? Do you hear women's voices? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, please, Carmen, don't burp. Um, <laughs> Do you, do you do you hear women on the phone while he's promising not to have uh, <laughs> sex no. with other people? No. Yeah. What if he got down on one testicle and proposed to you? I mean, one, one knee. Testicle. I'm sorry. I did not mean to say that. What if he got down on one knee and really proposed and said, I am changing. This is it. Give me even a trial period. I would have to see it. You would. Yeah. You would have to see it. I would have so, to see it. So far, you're not going for anything. Hmm. I just don't really believe him. I mean, have I love him. Have you had sex with him since your divorce? Have you had sex with Dennis Rodman since your divorce? Yeah. You have? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we were divorced. That. I mean, it's, God, it has it been almost a year now? Yes. I mean, we, we went to jail since the divorce. Oh, that's right. in Miami. Were, that's right. And, and since then? Since, uh, yeah, a few times after we were arrested, arrested and that was it. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? When you get arrested, it's kind of erotic. you got to celebrate. <laughs> right. <laughs> Definitely. Mm. Really? Mm -hmm. But not recently is what you're saying. So no. you'd still be able to have sex with him. You just couldn't be married to him. No, not anymore. Right. No. Don't you think he's ruined you for other men? I mean, the guy, the guy's no, a, he's a monster so. between his legs. I mean, have you had a relationship right. since Dennis? You haven't had yeah, sex? Yeah, I have. Oh, you've had, had sex? a relationship. Really? Yeah. You've, you've had sex since Dennis? Wow. Uh, no, I haven't, actually. You haven't? Well, how could you? No, I'm just, no, because I just, I want to make sure it's right. I don't want to just hook up with somebody because, yeah, I don't want to end up in the same situation, and I don't right. want to get hurt, and I don't want to hurt anybody else. So I'm just, you know, when I meet the right person, then it'll happen, but until really? then. I so yeah, I mean, I think it's harder to say no. It's harder to be alone. So you're still using the vibrator? Oh, yeah. You now, are. Wait a oh, my minute. God. I have yes, question. constantly. I have to. Really? 
Yeah. Are you afraid that you are falling in love with your vibrator? I've heard women talk about this, and I'm not making a joke mm-hmm, here. Mm-hmm. That the vibrator desensitizes you to a man, and that the vibrator becomes the only thing that'll really get you off. Do, are you afraid of that? No. You're not? No. Do you think being with a man, you can still get aroused and, and achieve an orgasm? I know I can. You, you know that for a fact? Yes. And the vibrator... I've when been you're, masturbating for years, Howard. This right. isn't just a new thing. But when you're, when you're with the vibrator, <laughs> do you think about a specific man... I can. I, usually I like to watch pornos. You before. do? Oh, that yeah. is so hot. Mm-hmm. See, you're a hot girl. You like <laughs> those guys in pornos? Uh, no, I, no. The guys in pornos are disgusting. Then what, what, what are you looking what are you at? What looking at? It's just, you know, I mean, the, the sex. sex it's just the idea of it. You know how hot that is? Most women mm-hmm. cannot sit down with a man and watch a porno and get really? excited. They sit there like this. Ugh. Evaluate. Ugh. No. Disgusting. You know, th- you know what? No. It's not so disgusting. You're watching it. Just get into it. Yeah, it's fun. So you but like to... Wait a minute. Forget wait a all of that. No. You, you were in a steam bath. Well, we'll get to the me and her in a minute. <laughs> i got to get to that now. <laughs> uh, wait a second. No. Uh, Everybody wants to I'm, know. Well, just we're building toward it. Oh, please. Hopefully we'll run out of time. <laughs> all right. Wait a second. You're trying to stay off that subject. Wait a second. Mm-hmm. Before we get to our erotic steam bath. Mm-hmm. <laughs> let, me, let me say something to you. <laughs> You're telling me that you will go out to a store and rent videos or buy, you know, porno videos. How do you get your video? No, actually, I have satellite TV, so I have five porno channels. Great. And mm-hmm. you will, you're saying... 24-hour porn this, on the TV. If you're home alone, and uh, let me tell you something, you're one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. In fact, and Fred Durst said she's too hot. Yeah. Wow. Fred Durst, compl- yeah, that's why he couldn't be with you. He said you're too hot. <laughs> You're a pain in the ass. You're too hot. You're, you're, you're too much you're attention. You're too much. You're too Aww. hot. Well, that was nice of him. You know what I mean? Wow. You're not too That's hot sweet. for me, honey. Don't worry about it. You're fine with me. We'll see when you get to the steam mm. bath. Right. <laughs> so wait a second. Mm-hmm. She was too hot for me, evidently. <laughs> so let me understand something. Yes. So you sh- let's say you're at home. You have your satellite mm-hmm. and you have the vibrator. You, what do you, you don't use the pocket rocket, do you? Um, I've used the Pocket Rocket. Right. I don't like it as much as the Panasonic. Okay. The, the Panasonic. Wand the ma- yeah. The yeah. Panasonic wand is a favorite of Robin's. It's as my well. favorite. We talked about this last. Yes. Time. Okay. But you have to put it on the low speed because yeah, the high speed is too much. And by the way, your naked pictures in Playboy are great. And in Thank fact, you. I was noticing the last time yes. you were here, you talked about bikini waxing. Your hair is so refined there. It's so sculpted. It reminded me of Mike Piazza's mustache. Are you doing that Brazilian waxing? I do the Playboy wax at this place called Pink Cheeks. I thought you did the Brazilian bikini wax. No, it's called a Playboy wax. And basically, you you lay on your back and this woman, she, she... does all the waxing, then she flips you over on your hands and knees and waxes your ass. Ah. It's amazing. Wow, Look, because you're a dark-skinned girl, I bet you you have a, a lot of hair if you don't wax down there, right? Yeah, I do. Do you have to wax your thighs? No. 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 All right. You're not that hairy. No. All right. <laughs> Does Hef help you uh, get the Playboy wax? Is that why? No, 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 no. <laughs> have you talked to Hef? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> yeah, he supervises. <laughs> he puts you on your knees. Hef, so there's a waxing at three. So you o'clock. have you have butt hair. Butt oh. hair? Mm. Not really, but you, you know, you just have to get from the back. I mean, really? she just waxes the whole thing. Does that hurt when she pulls? <gasps> oh, yeah, it hurts. How she, often do you go for that? Um, Every two weeks. Because it looks great in the magazine. No, it feels so smooth. It's The s- sex is so amazing with the wax. In fact, I had b- a couple of the guys analyze the pictures, and they said they couldn't analyze. find a flaw. Really? Like Benji said, like, like one of them said, like, if you wanted to find a flaw, you could say, all right, well, maybe, you know... What? I, like, like, I forget what he wrote down. He said, but maybe the flaw is that maybe your hip looked a little bigger than your waist or something like, oh, something like that. But he goes, it, she's perfect. He thought you looked perfect. Oh, that's sweet. We couldn't find Thank a flaw. You. Let me see this now. <laughs> Go ahead, find one. <laughs> so wait a second. So you, you sit there with the satellite, and mm-hmm. let's say porno is on. Mm-hmm. And this is, usually, this is usually at night you uh, watch the porno? Or it could happen, it any could happen in, at any time. And do you mostly walk around your house naked? No, I have a roommate, so you I'm have usually a roommate? not naked. Yeah, I moved in my girlfriend oh. with me. Why? Are you Why? getting it on with her? Um, because you know what? When when my mom and my sister passed away and my marriage didn't work out, I was really sad, and I was going through a really hard time, and I didn't want to be alone. When I get a dog, and she was like my best friend. I just right. did. I just bought two dogs. You did buy a dog, but yeah. that but you needed a human being there. Yeah, I needed a friend to be there. Did she cuddle with you and oh, make you feel better? With you. She hugged me. She did. I cried on her shoulder. Did She's you, sweet. Did you ever cuddle naked? No, in bed? no. Did you ever get it on with her? No, no. no. Uh, ever get it on with a chick? And no. Pee. You've never gotten it on with a chick. Nope. You love men. I do. Oh, that's they were never in their pajamas cuddling. No. 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 She's okay. a girly girl. Yeah. 
You never had a threesome with uh, Dennis and another girl? No. What? Nope. Come on. Never. never made what? Marriage. Never. You want me to hook you up to the One lie detector? One time I tried uh, to trick him. Uh, no, you can hook me up. Uh, go ahead. No, but I tried to trick him to see, like, you know, because, you know, of course you hear all these things about Dennis, and I was, I'm thinking in my mind, I'm sure he would just love that. That would just, like, really turn him on. Mm -hmm. And so I, I said, you know, uh, he knows that I've never been with a woman, and right. I said, God, I'm, I'm very curious, and I'm wondering what it would be like. And, um, and I said, are you down? Let's go to a strip bar, and let's find the most beautiful stripper, and let's take her home. And I was, like, creating this whole scene yeah. and he was like no 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 way really no conservative no. i think that no i don't he think he's conservative. you all to himself exactly i i like that and i think that was the right answer i was really happy with that, that is answer. the right answer i would uh, i would keep you all to myself i'd lock you, you in a, i'd lock you in a goddamn box you wouldn't need anybody else no buddy. i don't need uh, all i need oh, is you baby you stop talking you had your chance uh, <laughs> oh that's true <laughs> get out of here nobody's <laughs> listening to you anymore how dare you <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. All, All right. right, let's get to that get day. To it. All right. So beautiful Carmen Electra. <laughs> I was out in Malibu. Yes. As you remember, mm -hmm. it was 4th of July. Mm -hmm. And uh, I forget how it all happened, but I invited somehow you. Somehow you got on the phone with somehow me. Somehow I got on the phone yes. with you, which I was more than lucky to. As a matter, talk about premature ejaculation. <laughs> on the phone, I was done. <laughs> so um, there were fireworks in my pants that day, I remember. Oh mm -hmm. now, you showed they were up. better than the fireworks we saw, remember? They were lame. Yeah. So we, you know, we were all there, and we were all hanging out. Well, and first, wait a minute. She gets there, and you can't even get into the house. Remember all that? You oh, that really, was embarrassing. You really <laughs> do know how to build up to something. It was at my house, and I, I went <laughs> and walked out the door. The door automatically shuts and locks you out. Who knew that? <laughs> and then... And then Carmen climbed the fence and got us back in. you couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So I looked in already. Like, I already look like a loser. <laughs> She's in heels. Well, Carmen's an athlete. I'm not in shape. And you <laughs> let her climb the fence and get you back in the house. Honey, wasn't that romantic? <laughs> <laughs> no wonder we we had so much fun in the steam room. No, so you and I, mm -hmm. we had the day together. We had a lot of fun. We you walked, walked on the beach. Walked on the beach. I think we Which had. Which Howard has the most beautiful feet I've ever seen in my oh, life. Baby, I think he might be interested. Uh, His well. feet are amazing. Really? Yeah. So you walk. They really are. Hands? They're perfect. Thank you. Did you hold hands walking along the beach, or uh, no, 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 no? We were, we were with a bunch of people. All right. We were with a bunch of uh, people. We mm -hmm. met some nice people there. We went over to a party. We had a good time. Uh -huh. She's in a bikini. Yeah, you're no. drinking. Carmen was wearing a dress. Mm -hmm. Bikini underneath and the dress. On the beach, she even wears hot shoes. She won't like walk around barefoot. Right. She wears hot shoes no, on heels. the beach. Well, because the beach is dirty. <laughs> we found there's yeah, there's, there's needles, needles on, on the beach. There. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was in a bikini though. Oh, wait in Malibu, we're walking along, and I see like hypodermics, and I'm like barefoot. I'm going, I'm going to get stuck. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the rich people don't clean the goddamn beach. <laughs> Needles washing up on the shore. I don't think anybody actually goes on the beach. Oh. So anyway, there's you're just walking around. <laughs> walking around, blah blah blah. Get into a bikini in front of you. Right. So then I I said to her, Hey, there's a steam room downstairs. Were there any pools? Were you sitting by pools or anything? No. No. We were drinking. Okay. So, but there were drinks. Okay. There were drinks. Mm hmm She needed a lot. <laughs> so, um, but she has a friend. Who's, what, a friend carries around. What does she carry around? What is that drink? Oh, Melissa. Yeah. What um, is she, she carries her own booze with her. <laughs> she had like, like. I forgot what, like, um. Kamikaze. St. Bernard. I forgot what that was. Yeah, right. she, she wears a keg around her neck. <laughs> like a St. Bernard. But anyway, so, you know, we're all having fun and everything. And this makes me sound lame, I guess, but. So there was a steam room downstairs. I so wanted you're back at your place. Yeah. Left the other places. I wanted to try the steam room, quite frankly, right? Because I had a cold. Remember I told you That's I was... That's right. I had That's a cold. Right. And I said, I'm going to try the steam room. Do you want to come have a steam with me? Uh-huh. So Carmen said, yeah, okay, I'll go. So she <laughs> got into a bikini, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I was in my bathing suit, mm -hmm. which really turns chicks on. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. When girls see that, they go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and... uh we went downstairs. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe something's going to happen. Something, something. Right? <laughs> Did you think something was going to happen? I didn't think so. You didn't? No. Well. She wasn't planning. <laughs> you weren't planning. You see, guys are thinking if you immediately go into a steam room, something's going to happen. Action! Yeah. Well, you're such a gentleman. I didn't. It didn't seem like. No, he really was. I was. I. I he really was. I really wanted to use the steam. You know what she just said? <laughs> what? Uh, you're a faggot. You're lame. Yeah. Right. All right. She I'm knew a faggot. Nothing was gonna go on with you. You're too lame. I was it's making my move. I'm making her uh, think I'm not that interested. Right. That's yeah, cool. Exactly. Right. That's I'm cool. playing That's the game. Good. Yes. And so not interested. Nothing happened. Women don't <laughs> want you jumping on top of them. That's right. True. There was no 
don't see what I'm. I mean, if you wait a minute, I, I think hold on, hold if you're on, really, hold. really interested, yeah. Then, well, for me, I like an aggressive man. Mm-hmm. You know, I, 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 I love you. that. This but if you're not interested, then it's disgusting. You know, right. you don't want someone being, right. You know, too aggressive. Look, I'm if I had if I had leaned long. over and started kissing you in the steam room, wouldn't you have thought that was a little out of out of line? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Why, Carmen? Why? That's aggressive. <laughs> she just said it. Yeah. No, be honest. I I don't know. I, I think it was uncomfortable. Didn't you feel a little bit uncomfortable in the steam? It was like hot. Yeah. Remember, we were laughing. We're like, what are we doing? We felt silly. We had a nice uh, time. Howard, at this point, how many drinks have you guys had? I, 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 had, I wasn't even I drinking like that much. I had like one drink. She had one drink. So you weren't bombed or anything? No. But if we were bombed, it would have been a different story. It's sad. Remember, we were laughing. It was so hot. We had a the fun time. It was, it was I loved the steam because I had a cold. It was great. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoyed the steam. You wouldn't have had sex with me in the steam room, would you? No. Exactly. So why? why, why? Well, she's saying she didn't think you were hot. If she was No, I'm not saying that. I think yes, Howard is hot. you just said it. You yeah. just I'm not just going to. I don't even know Howard. I mean, I just met him. Right. Yeah, and I'm right. just going to have sex right. right away. Yeah, I mean, what are you thinking? Okay. <laughs> I should have no. thrown her down the stairs. No, no. No, well, I'm then I may, may have right. thrown her down the stairs. But she's saying exactly what every woman wants. When you like a guy, his aggression is good. When oh. you don't, it's So, like, Carmen, is Robin right that I blow it that day? I could have had you in the steam room? No, you didn't blow it. I think you played your cards right. Thank you. Yeah, Who else and now he's room? back over here and you're over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Oh, you too. <laughs> Damn. Was it just the two of you, Howard? So you yes. mean, Carmen's saying she don't like a guy to be that aggressive. No, uh, she said I do. Oh. I mean, once you, you get comfortable with the person, yes. Right. Right. And look at Definitely. Dennis Rodman. She got comfortable with him in about how many seconds? How many minutes did it take for him to get comfortable <laughs> with you? No, we, we were hanging out for a long time before I had sex with him. Really? Uh, See? Right. Wow. See? And then it was over. Then it was every day once we did. Once yeah, you did but you yeah. were never alone with him until you had sex with him. I was alone with him. Yes. When? They were in a hotel room together. Remember we spent you the t- night together in the same bed, and oh. we didn't touch each other. Didn't touch each other? Nope. Oh, I don't believe it for a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, I'm playing it like Rodman. Yeah, right. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know what I want to do? I want to go back in the steam room with you again and not touch you. That's what I want to do. I want to take an erotic bath with you and not touch you. <laughs> now, but and plus, I'm not a black guy. What's I that, think that to do with Well, anything? Carmen, like, be real. Black be real. Be real's not black. He's not black. He, but he tries to be black, and oh, Fred Durst please. has a black thing going. Yeah, Fred Durst is as white as snow. <laughs> 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 well, whatever. But you lost your virginity to a black guy, right? Yes. See? She might be into that. I take that into but account. I don't think she limits herself. Do you limit yourself? No. Racially? No. Hmm. So you're not a, a, a bigot. <laughs> no words. You only like black guys. <laughs> what is it, Chauncey? By the way, you got to see Carmen Electra nude in the December issue of Playboy. Any issues with that? Why Were you uncomfortable are we doing being naked? Playboy again. Um, at first, I, I felt a little bit uncomfortable, but then you get used to it. You are know? they paying you a fortune for this? They must be. Mm, yeah. A million? A lot. A lot. I just say a lot. Are you a millionaire from this? Because <laughs> well, I'll take my goddamn well, clothes off from Playboy. Already before. Why yeah, I did it once before. I am telling. Ago. I am telling Playboy right now. I will for a million. I'm going to take my clothes off. <clears throat> you get breast implants and work. Yes, your I will get breast implants. <laughs> hey, and let me say something. If you're into black guys. I'll wear blackface to bang you. Uh, <laughs> I will get into full black makeup. Well, you do a terrible black accent. See, you no, be- I don't. Oh, stop. <laughs> Come here, Carmen. Let me does. have sex with your person. Get in the steam room. Holy mackerel. No steam room. My blackface will come off. <laughs> come on, baby. You know you want it. Is he turning you on now? Am I turning oh, you yeah, on now? You are. Is that what I need to do? I'll That's do it. That's all you need to do. Low, low, low. <laughs> No, no, no. Hand me the loofah. <laughs> Chauncey, you're on the air with Carmen Electra. Have you seen the Playboy, uh, Chauncey? Yes, I have. Yes. Have you interviewed her? Unbelievable. Thank you. Cover looks great, too. Mm. But what's stranger, Dennis Rodman on Monday Night Football or Carmen Electra with Dennis Rodman? What do you mean? But both to me, because I can't... The relationship between Dennis and Carmen, I always found baffling. Always very strange. Mm-hmm. Here, here's a I don't think anyone could figure it out. <laughs> here's, here's I couldn't even story. figure it out. Yeah, she can't even figure it out. <laughs> uh, you Howard, know, people you do crazy story. things at crazy times. That's Definitely, all. Definitely, yeah. So, wait, while Dennis was up in Montreal filming a TV show, yes. this is pretty funny. Carmen was up there with him. I guess he or he would, he was on Carmen's show, I think, right? He made a guest appearance. Or you no, I made there? a guest appearance on his show. Right. So while they were together in the hotel, Dennis had a copy of her Playboy issue on, on the desktop, the tabletop. When Carmen would leave the room, the other girl would come in. 
she was in Playboy, he'd take her Playboy, put it underneath the bed, and take out the other Playboy and put it on the table. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Really? Yeah, and he'd keep alternating the Playboys as they would come in and out of the room. <laughs> okay. What a lady killer. <laughs> oh, he's too much. Well, thank you, Chauncey. Okay. Good luck, Carmen. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow. All right. Let's see if there's any other calls. Go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, uh, Carmen, I, mm -hmm. I have a friend here who says she used to, uh, well, she's not with me, of course, but... She said she used to have threesomes with her and Dennis down in, like, New Orleans. Mm -mm. What, I, with Carmen? I've only been to New yeah. Orleans one time. It was over. It was, it was at the end of the summer. And it and was... I, she actually, this is true, too. Me and my best friend, she, I didn't believe her. So she got Dennis. Dennis bought me and my friend tickets to come down. But then when we got there, he wasn't there, and neither was she. Well, no proof there. Yeah, wait a minute. Where's your proof? I think Carmen would be honest about it if she I did would. that. She would. She's very What's open. What's there to hide? That's I mean, if you, this, if this girl was a stripper, too, though. So is that, like, did that never happen? You were never tempted with her or nothing like that? I, I've never even been to New Orleans with Dennis. I've been there one time before I even met Dennis. Let's so. go to Joe. Joe, you're on with Carmen Electra. Hey, you doing, Howard? Yeah. Hey, Carmen, plain yes. and simple. Would you sleep with Howard? Would I? Yeah. Would you sleep with Howard? Yeah. Howard who? That's the question. <laughs> Howard you? Oh. <laughs> Carmen... Go ahead. I think that, uh, yeah, I think that if we got to know each other, hmm. I think Howard is incredible. That's the problem when we get listens. to know me. He I, I love the fact that Howard listens to you when you talk. <laughs> I mean, that's, well, I mean. What are you laughing at? Wait, that's a very beautiful no, he really thing. he does. Oh, my he's, God. Let talk. He's fun I to do. talk to. He's We've talked on the phone. With. I love the Howard dance. She knows Howard how I dance. dance. She likes the way I move. I love his feet. Carmen, he really needs it. Uh, he hasn't been he since the separation. <laughs> really? I need it fast. <laughs> yeah, well, it's amazing. High and dry in the steam room. Yeah, you left me high and dry in the steam room. You owe me. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Greg. Greg, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. How you doing, buddy? All right, buddy. Hey, Carmen, I love your pictures in Playboy. Thank you. Yeah, she looks hot. Yeah, Robin, do me a favor. Put a cork in it. You're ruining the interview. <laughs> Why is Robin ruining the interview? Because she keeps butting in. Every time Carmen tries to talk, she doesn't oh, believe sure. Carmen. I'm getting to the bottom of things. She's here. a detective. <laughs> She's just jealous. She's jealous of Carmen because of Carmen was I in the am. steam room with me. Of course <laughs> oh. I am. Let's go to Clarissa. <laughs> Clarissa on with Carmen Electra, who is very beautiful in Playboy. I, I, I can't understand why Carmen, who is such a beautiful woman, would want to date men that are so nasty like black men. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, come on. I mean, you are a beautiful woman. Are you saying that, that dating black, black men is nasty. worse than a white man? It, yeah, to me, it, it says that she's got no self-esteem. Were you abused when you were younger? No, not at all. Is it bad to date a I'm black not, guy? I'm just not racist. I mean, I'm sorry. Ma'am, do you ever consider I you never have been. a white man would be better than dating a black man? Let me ask you this. If you could, let's, let's take a good-looking black guy. Uh, like... Um, What's that model's name? Oh, Tyson? Tyson. You know that guy? The big muscular yeah. black guy? Oh, Tyson? Tyson. Uh, not, not Mike Tyson, but Beckford. Tyson Beckford? No. All right, let me think of another good-looking black guy. Okay, Denzel Washington. You Would you rather no. make love to... Let me ask you I'm going to give you a choice. You're on an island. You got Denzel Washington, and you got Louis Anderson. <laughs> no. Who do you go to? Oh, I, Louis neither. Anderson's white. Neither, I, neither, I mean, just, you no, because. Come on, you got to pick one. <laughs> Answer the question. Who do you go no. to? Who's your go-to guy? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, would right. never, I would never date a black man, and I'm, I'm really disappointed so you're that you're going to sleep with Louie Anderson. So you are not a Carmen Electra fan because she uh, sleeps with uh, black guys? No, I still, I like her, and I think she's beautiful, but I really think she needs to bump up her self-esteem a little bit here, and. Date somebody who's going to treat her well. Carmen, be honest. Do you get a lot of this that, like, suddenly uh, men uh, think there's something wrong with you because you dated a black man? No, I don't think it, it really has anything to do with the color. I think maybe just because of the situation and everything that was happening and reading the tabloids and everything was really crazy. And a lot of people couldn't understand, well, you have a career, you have everything going for you. Why would you put yourself in that situation? So you find yourself and that's why I had to, I mean, I had to figure out why he, myself. I right. mean, I couldn't really answer those questions so I just that's why I've been alone and spending time with myself and really trying to figure out I think you know, that's what the problem is. I think that's admirable. <laughs> what is it Baba Flow Fly? I just want to ask the woman on the phone why <clears throat> is why does the fact that Carmen would date a black guy show low self esteem like Baba what's Baba I, like I, if you said oh Dennis is crazy as a person I might understand that Baba but what's Baba wrong right. with black guys in general? Well she's racist Baba she admits yeah. it. But what's wrong with like well, like Maybe Pam Anderson's little... not crazy because she was dumped on by Tommy Lee. Yeah, right. What exactly is wrong with black guys? I don't know. To me, I mean, in, I live in Ohio, and 
when white women date black men, it usually means they have no self-esteem. And I think really? black men are just, I don't think they know how to treat the women correctly. I I just don't agree with it. So I, not, I'm sorry that she's doing that to herself. Don't I don't know. You don't think there's a black guy in the whole United States that is worthy of a white woman? And I don't know every black man in the United States, but she's generalizing. Black, yeah, but yeah, uh, uh, every white guy treats his wife or woman well. Mm, no, no. Well, uh, all right, you got me there. All right. <laughs> Well, but Gary not- Gary takes tremendous offense, because Gary's almost black, right, Robin? But, you know, he doesn't trust <laughs> black people either, so right. I don't know what he does. I'm Sicilian. Hey, Carmen, you argument. should be with me. I'm almost black. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for that most interesting view. <laughs> uh, John, go ahead. Come on. Tons of questions for Carmen Electra. i got to get to them fast, because I have to talk about Ronnie's bachelor party on Friday night. Go ahead. Hey, Carmen. You're bachelor hot. party. Thank you. Well, it looks like a bachelor party to me. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I got a question about the, the vibrator issue. Yes. I got the pocket rocket here with my wife. <laughs> um, she doesn't let me use it for a long time. Is it like is it too powerful possibly? After her orgasm? The pocket like rocket the, is not too powerful. The, no, the vibrator that Carmen Electra uses is very powerful. It's like the space shuttle. That's uh, like a space <laughs> shuttle. I suggest she's desensitized down there. No, no not, at not. All. You know what? I, I actually am. I'm more sensitive. The more I masturbate, the more sensitive I am. Uh huh. Hmm. Well, that's yeah, beautiful. You know, I get going with this. <laughs> Jackie, Jackie, what kind of noise was that? I'm sorry. <laughs> I do that out loud. All right, let's go to Worm. Go ahead, you're on the air. Worm. What's up? What's up, Carmen? What's up? You're absolutely gorgeous, by the way. But anyway, Thank does you. it turn you on that Playboy subscribers around the country will be using your uh, layout as target practice this week? Yeah. What about that? Does it turn you on to think that men will be yeah, looking of at course. you like that? Yeah. yeah. Of course. Why not? That's a that's a compliment. Let's go to Doug. One final question for Carmen Electra. Go ahead. Hey, Howard. Yes. Hey, I want to know if uh, you're sitting here with the most beautiful woman in the whole free world. You got a little stiffy work in there? Of course. <laughs> I couldn't even stand up right now. Wait a minute. How, did, how did you do in the steam room? Yeah. The steam room, I was I fully aroused. Really? <laughs> Lucky separated. for me, I'm only an inch. <laughs> an she hour. couldn't tell. Yeah, go ahead. A year ago, before you got separated, mm-hmm. if a man would have told you he was in the steam room with a woman like Carmen Electra, and, and he didn't go happened. nowhere, well, you would have called him a fag. Yes, I would have. <laughs> and let me tell you what's something. Your excuse here, I'm going to give you my excuse. <laughs> you don't have to accept it. I really just met Carmen. I didn't know her all that well. I thought it would have been really uncomfortable if I just started coming on to her. Homo, homo. I know. I know you're going to say that. I know you're going to say that. Howard, put me in the room with uh, Carmen. Uh, I'll, do, I'll do the work for you. All right. Listen, you're more of a man than I am. What hey, can Carmen, I say? I love you. Thank you. Plus, you know, Carmen was vomiting at the same time while she was in there. It's not all that hot. Yeah, she said, uh, you make me sick. Joey, you're on the air. Hey, how you doing? What? Hey, uh, you should tickle her feet like you did to Pamela Anderson. Yeah, you know, we had a hot show oh, the other day. We had, the tickle we, did. we had Pamela Anderson here, and we tickled her beautiful feet. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you ticklish? I am so ticklish. Really? Oh. Especially my feet. Thank God you didn't really? do that to me. Yeah. Well, the next time you come in here, will you let me tickle your feet? No, nah, do it now. <laughs> See, again, okay. you're going to let her slip through your I'll fingers. You can we do it now? Now? Do, we, yeah. do you want to do it now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we can tickle your feet? Yeah. You All can. Right. We'll ask you questions. Okay. And if you don't answer them... You mm-hmm. get tickled. You get tickled. Okay. <laughs> Would you do that? Yeah. All right. I'll do it. Howard, do you, do you need any help? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> what kind of shoes are you wearing today, Carmen? Anyway, let me see. Oh, those are cute. Man, those are hot shoes. You know how to dress, don't you? Did someone okay. dress you, or you just know how to do it yourself? Um, I, you know, I do have a stylist, but I love shopping. You so, love to shop. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Here comes the tickle chair, Carmen. <laughs> have you ever seen anything like that? We have the like chair that? ready and everything. We have a tickle chair. I love it. <laughs> um, Gary, we're going to need a list of quest- questions, if you know what I mean. That's easy. Simple questions. I could ask you. I- you have questions? Yeah, I, yeah, I have a question I want to ask you. All right, but it's got to be like uh, the subjects are math, science, and, uh, and English. Sex, That's right? right. Sex, too. Yeah, good. Okay, good. All right, Carmen, sit in that chair. I'm going to come over and tickle your feet. Get in your chair. All right. Oh, wow, this is kind of sexy. I didn't realize we'd be doing this. She's barefoot already. You're already ready barefoot. You. All right, that's good. <laughs> you, you, maybe a pants should come off to make the... Oh, get out of here, John. Uh, uh. <laughs> right, we're doing a couple of questions. Well, you know, it was easy with Pamela because she had a skirt, Rob, and you could get the whole oh, right, chunk of Right, I know what you were question. looking for. All right. All right, here we go. Hold on, I'm coming over. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Carmen. 
Here I come. Give me some headphones. Can you ask these sex questions? No, I don't know what we're asking. All, all different questions. All right, here we go. Uh, Howard, do you want a cup of tea? What is that? Howard, do you want to cover feet? Yes, cover feet. That's okay. Pull away. Hey, I'm being aggressive. <laughs> those are some hot feet. Hey, you got feet. some nice feet, yeah. Carmen. Hello, she's got to get those little. Lines, um, you know. That's all right. That's good. No, but they're nice toes. You know, they're they're shaped correctly. And what does John say? She doesn't have those diamond things like Pamela oh, has. Oh, I see. Yeah, but she doesn't need diamond things like Pamela. <laughs> no, but they're nice. Yeah. You like that. Pam was wearing a dress, and we could see up her dress. Yeah, that's the only right. problem. Now you're <laughs> she knows better. Cuff her hands, yes. Yes, Ganji, cuff her hands. Oh, my goodness. That's right. <laughs> I'm not sure why we're doing that. You know, she came to do this uh, t TV show when she was kidnapped. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Carmen, are you ready? Oh, God. Okay. All right, John, you want to go first? Uh, yeah, I have two questions. Um, have you ever pleasured yourself thinking about a woman? Yes. Well, she's going to answer that. you got to well, have We don't know what the answer oh, okay, okay. is no, to that question. Any, like... No, here you go. math questions. No, that's the way it Come is. Come on, because you, you don't want to answer. You have to get naked. All right, here we go. Carmen, I got one All right, for you. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question now. Oh, you got it? Who freed the slaves? Wow. Get naked and I'll answer it. No, who freed the slaves? Take your clothes off. No. Go ahead. You're going to get tickled. Get naked. Get All right, naked. wait. Oh. <laughs> 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 <Real> crazy. <laughs> You gotta get that microphone She's on. She's really you. tickling. You are really tickling. I don't know. My feet are the most ticklish place in my down. whole entire hold body. Hold her feet down. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right. Who is Al Gore? Oh my goodness. All right, now I'm gonna ask you again. I'm gonna ask you again. Who freed the slaves? Who freed the slaves? <laughs> get naked, Howard, and I'll tell you. <laughs> They're holding her in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right, something uh, easier. Uh, Ask her. Uh, who right, Howard, you admit you, you didn't know who. Made. Made. All right, you ready? Howard, I got one. I got All one. Right. I, okay, you ready? Carmen, how long is a senator's term? A United States senator, how long is his term? Oh my God! I'm only answering these questions if Howard takes his clothes off. No, no, no. Answer the question. <laughs> no. Nope. Answer. Answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's almost broke the chair. Howard just pulled the handle off. Oh no! Oh my God! Oh, she's really wow. ticklish. <laughs> 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 I'm done. Hold it oh now. All right, wait a second. Wait. wait. Who is Al Gore's no, running no. mate? <laughs> One last question. Come on. Come on. Who's Al Gore's running mate? All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here it is. This is the hottest thing I've ever seen. <sighs> Who is Al Gore's running mate? Oh, my God. I don't even know. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's up? Oh, shit. Oh. 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 <laughs> all right. I'm Let me see. I've been in Europe. <laughs> I'm, staring at her, I'm staring at her belly. I don't care what she knows and what she doesn't I know. Okay, you ready? The answer is Lieberman. Joe Lieberman. Yeah, he chose oh, that's it. right. He's All right. Okay, the, the first Jewish. Right, right, right. Okay. Man. How do right. you, you want Go one? ahead, go ahead. Okay. What does the term oh. ER stand for? ER. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got to know that. <laughs> Howard, you shouldn't go with such hard questions. <laughs> right, go back and sit down. You oh the test. my goodness! Wow, that is hot. That <laughs> was so her. hot. Great. You're leaving her. <laughs> Great. <laughs> that was so much fun for me. <laughs> See, you, you know, know you, you get like her to that. do a lot of stuff if you tickle her. Oh my. She's so funny because oh, you walked away. You were gonna leave her cuffed. <laughs> I was gonna leave her cuffed in the chair. Come back here and sit down. Chicks dig that. You are really ticklish. Boy, she wriggled around. Honey, you are so ticklish. Uh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Dude, did you hear that? Yeah. Was that sexy? That's me. Wait till you see it on TV. I can't wait. Carmen, that was the sexiest <laughs> thing ever. It what? was not sexy. That was so sexy. Yeah. Oh. Mm. You don't think that was sexy? Saturday night. Was it? Oh. What was sexy about it? Guys oh, it dig funny. feet. They do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is it, Chris? Go ahead. Call me. Yes. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. Are you exhausted from that? I'm so tired. I'm sweating. Right. You really are ticklish. I'm ticklish. Meanwhile, you're aroused from it. Mm. No. You are. No. I'm telling you, I'm looking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she can't deny it. She can't deny it. It's cold in here. Did you get aroused during the tickling? Tell no, the truth. No, I didn't. Not at all. See, I would tie you up and tickle you. You would? Yes, I would. I, this is what I would do to you if I was to, lucky enough to You'd have to do it really slow and gentle. I would do it with a feather. Okay. I would tie you up, spread eagle, and tickle you. Oh. Yeah. You take all three inputs. Three input? You three input woman? Three Hello? input? <laughs> no. Definitely no, not. Not into that. No. Interesting. 
She was almost perfect. <laughs> yeah. well. Isn't it better not to be than, you know, when well, at you least finally you're honest. do? Let me tell you something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell a couple of Playboys right now. <laughs> you, believe me, I would, believe me, I would get her to do that. What? Three inputs. Sure, you can't even get her in, out of her bathing suit in a steam room. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't I play it right? You did. I did, okay. Definitely. Very good, Howard. Listen, Carmen Electra is naked in the December issue of Playboy. <laughs> if you want to see a hot chick, this is the magazine to buy. I think you look stunning. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> look at her, she's all drained from I'm her ticket. I'm tired, I'm exhausted. She's going to go to sleep now. You didn't like being tickled? Mm -mm. She just took you a didn't. test. No. Really? Mm -mm. I thought you were digging it. No. Oh. 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 You really don't? It's not fun for the person getting tickled. Oh, come on. It's erotic. No. All right. It was too much? Yeah. Oh. Pam Anderson liked it. She liked it? Yeah. Really? And so did Natalie. Really? Yeah. God, I'm like sweating. I'm exhausted. <laughs> you might be exhausted from the pop quiz is what you're Yeah, exhausted. exactly. That's what I think. Yeah. Carmen, I love you. I think you're beautiful I and you know too. that. And uh, I'm glad I didn't have sex with you in the steam room. I'm really glad. Mm -hmm. uh, Tell me another one. That's right. <laughs> 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 you know, if that Lincoln hadn't freed the slaves, Dennis Rodman wouldn't have been free to marry her, and then she wouldn't have been in a bad there marriage. There you go. See? Think about that. Exactly. No. It's all his fault. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she, Carmen, really, in the December issue of Playboy, she looks amazing. And we'll be back right after these words. Carmen, you've had a busy appearance today. I know. I'm tired from all the tickling. Now, what, what, were you surprised that that guy was willing to take a gay bath like that? Yeah, that's crazy. To, just to meet you? Yeah, that's insane. Has anybody ever done anything like that before? People have done some strange things, but I don't know about a gay bath. So that was it was very erotic. Not. <laughs> Do you think it was worth what he did, worth meeting you? I don't think it would be. I mean, you know, I mean, basically, we just said hi to each other. I shook his hand, gave him a little hug. I mean, everyone's going to see it. You know, this airs on E, so... I mean, all his friends at home and everyone in Pittsburgh is going to see him taking a gay bath. So I'm sure it probably wasn't worth it. And what about what about Howard tickling you? I'm so ticklish. I have the most ticklish feet ever. So I'm exhausted. It was like a workout. Well, thanks for coming down, Carmen. ER emergency room. What an idiot. Yeah, what happened? You got a lot of them. Well, I knew that I knew what I knew it was the emergency room, but I, I didn't want to say it because I wasn't sure. So then I like at, during the break, I'm like, Howard, is it the emergency room? He's like, yeah. I'm like. I should have just said it. Then I could have been saved from being tickled for so long. You know? I know. Because it killed me. Trust me. I'm dying. Why? 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 I have the most ticklish feet ever. So that was like the worst thing you could possibly do. Absolutely. I don't know why I agreed to do it. Yeah, why did you? I guess I liked it in a weird way. 